let us quickly see some more example before going into the further topics in our course so in this video we will be writing this five example programs to understand the code better so first we will write a C program to find the square root of the number so open the code blocks declare variables one is answer one is number printf enter the number get it from the user and store it in the variable num now we will write expression answer is equal to sqrt n u m this is a function sqrt n u m is a function available in the header file math.h so we should have to include the header file first so this math.h is a math header file which contains all the mathematical functions in it as stdio.h consists of a printf scanf functions in it now we will print out the result printf square root of the number is percentage d which is in the answer so let us quickly compile it and run it zero errors enter the number four the square root of the number is two let us try once more enter the number 36 the square root of the number is 6 so let us look now look into another example now let us write a C program to find the area of the circle we know that area of the circle is equal to pi r square and pi is equal to 3.14 because it is a decimal number we will be declaring a floating variable of r and area printf enter the radius get the data which is of type float so here the format specifier is percentage f and store it in r now we will write the expression area equal to 3.14 into r into r and print out print the result printf area of the circle is percentage f and get it from the variable area here it should be print now quickly compile it zero errors run it enter the radius to so see area of the circle is 12.56 now let us look into one more example which is program to accept a string and find out the total number of characters so we'll go to code blocks declare a character str 
and give it the length as 20 we will declare int a printf enter the string get the string because it is string we should have to use the format specifier percentage yes and store it in str now we have a function called str len str we have a function str len which is stored in the header file string.h which contains all the string operations in it so this function will return a integer value for the length of the string so this will be now get stored in the variable a so now printf length of the character is percentage d get it from the a now let us compile it and run it enter a string let me enter robot there are six characters in it so the length of the character is six here we are using the function strlen and passing the string enter to it. So this strlen function is stored in the header file string.h. So we should have to first include it and use the function. So let us look into one more example. So our last example would be C program to check a given number is positive or negative. So for this, uh, oh, we should have to write if condition, else if condition, and if condition, which we haven't looked as if now. So this example I will be taking in the next videos. So now we will write a program. We will write some mathematic program only to find quotient and remainder of two integers. Open the code block. Let me delete this. So for this we need four variables of type integer integer dividend divisor quotient and remainder printf enter dividend the number which you, you want to be divided by another number scanf percentage d store it in dividend printf enter divisor scanf percentage d and store it in 
divisor now we will write some mathematical expression quotient is equal to dividend divided by divisor and remainder is equal to dividend percentage symbol divisor this will return the remainder value now let us print out the output print f quotient is equal to percentage d and remainder is equal to percentage d you get them from variable quotient and variable remainder let us first check whether there are any errors zero errors let us execute enter the dividend give it as 25 enter divisor 4 so see here quotient is 6 remainder is 1 4 into 6 is 24 and the remainder is 1 hope you understood the examples so before proceeding to the further course i recommend you to practice these examples you will definitely feel a programmer in you if you practice so that's it for now see you in the next video